Welcome to yet another installment of the tier list series. Today we're going to be talking about the triceps. Now, the tricep consists of three heads, the lateral, the medial and the long head. I'm going to rank these lifts based on how good they are at targeting these heads of the tricep. Moreover, I'm only going to be ranking exercises that I've actually tried in the past. Which ones are going to be in the horseshoe tier? Which ones will end up down below? Stay tuned to find out. First, the upright dumbbell French press. This is, in my opinion, contrary to what many people will tell you, not a bad exercise. Yes, it has some problems. Granted, the position of your shoulders is not optimal and it can be quite taxing on the elbows. You might want to watch out with this exercise and I would say don't do it for too many reps and sets. But it will hit the triceps quite effectively either way. It's going into the nice tier. Skull crushers. For some reason, the favorite movement of every pro bodybuilder out there, and granted, it's pretty good. But it kind of has the same problem as the previous movement, in that it can be quite taxing on the elbows. Plus, there's going to be a better variation of this exercise later. Nice tier. Diamond push-ups. Now, I do love my diamond push-ups, don't get me wrong, they are pretty good at hitting the triceps, especially the lateral and the long head, but there's a problem. And that problem lies in the fact that this is an exercise that works many, many muscles. What does this mean? It means that much of the load is going to be shifted from your triceps to your, for example, shoulders and chest. It's by no means a bad exercise, I'm just saying that there are better ones out there. Speaking of better ones, lying barbell tricep extensions. This is simply a better version of the skull crushers. This is what the skull crusher wishes it could be. By letting your shoulders extend more, you're going to be shifting more load onto the triceps. This is going to hit all the heads of the tricep very, very well. And I even find it to be less taxing on the elbows, so you have less chance of developing some kind of injury. The only problem could be if you would have little shoulder mobility. Then I can see it being a bit uncomfortable. But for me, this is a top tier exercise. The same goes for the lying cable tricep extension by the way, this is also a great movement, but I kind of prefer the easy bar to be honest, but if you prefer cables then I mean that's also fine, for me these will go into the tier below. What cables are better for are upright standing overhead cable extensions, jeez that's a mouthful. These are basically the better version of the dumbbell french press because I find that you have more freedom in moving your arms the way you want to with the rope. The cables also distribute the load better over the triceps than the dumbbell does, which is why this is a very good exercise. But then, we get into my absolute favorite tricep exercise, the overhead cable extension leaning away from the machine. An excellent movement for the long head. Some people don't really like it because of its stance, but for me it's the opposite. I actually like the fact that I have the ability to push my feet against the machine. This is also one of the only movements where I just simply do not experience any discomfort in my shoulders and elbows, which is why it goes into the horseshoe tear. Lying cross face extensions. Yeah, this exercise is quite bad. I have no idea why I tried this one in the past. The exercises in the top tier are so great because they allow for good flexion of the elbow. Your triceps will be placed into the lengthened position. That position is simply absent in this exercise, which is why it goes into the garbage tier. Close grip bench. You could say that, for the same reasons as the diamond push up, that this is only a nice tier exercise. But in my opinion, that is not the case. It can give you some pretty good tricep gains, especially in the long and medial head. But I only really recommend you do this exercise when pairing it with another tricep movement, one that is good at hitting the lateral head. This exercise in itself is not enough, but it's still a good movement, which is why it goes into the very good tier. Dumbbell tricep kickbacks. I'm sure you've seen plenty of people absolutely trash on this exercise and I completely agree. Why? Well, because literally the only part of this movement that is actually going to tax your triceps is going to be in the extended position. Except for that, there is no tension whatsoever on the tricep, just simply none. Why tear? If you're going to do a kickback, then, although not perfect, the cable kickback is a much better option since it keeps that tension throughout the whole movement. This is a nice tear exercise. Dips. Dips are quite the interesting case because I will split these into two parts. One where you lean your body forward and one where you try to keep your feet facing straight down to the ground. The former one is going to shift a lot of load onto your shoulders and chest because of the angle. Your triceps won't be involved that much. But the latter one is amazing for the lateral and the long head. Because your body is now much more upright, the tension is being placed on your triceps for a large part. The first 
first variation goes into the average tier since it's definitely not comparable to the ones in the bottom tier and the second one goes into the very good tier. Then tricep cable pushdowns, a certified classic. You can do these with a straight attachment which I'm not really a big fan of to be honest because you can't push your arms apart in the extended position. These go into the average tier. The row pushdowns are a whole nother story though. By pushing your arms apart in the extended position you are going to incorporate much more of the lateral head of the tricep. It goes into the very good tier. One arm cable pushdowns. These are my second favorite tricep exercise. I prefer to stand back a step or two from the machine, then tilt my body forward slightly and do them that way. In the extended position, I prefer to push my arms back a bit more. I like this movement a lot, since I find it to be less taxing on the elbows and the shoulders than the regular rope pushdown and works the triceps unilaterally. Top tier. The tricep extension machine. To be honest, I don't like these at all. To put it simply, they might work for some. The path of these machines is not bad per se, but they're just not made for me. I like to have a little bit of freedom with my movements. If you like it, then I completely understand, but in my opinion, this is not that good of an exercise. Average tier. Next, the cable rear drive. This is a great exercise for placing a lot of tension on every head of the tricep. What I like to do is, when I reach failure, I do partial reps in the flexed position. You can also use some momentum when you feel like you can't go on anymore, which is also a plus. But some tension is going to be taken away by muscles in the upper body, but still, this is a very good exercise. The JM press, a movement that's heavily been popularized by social media. And I fell for it. And you know what? I am glad I fell for it. This is an amazing movement. It kind of combines the greatness of the close grip bench with the skull crusher and it basically takes the best of both worlds. It's going to stimulate your tricep heads a lot and is going to give you some quality tension. But it barely doesn't reach the greatness of the exercises in the top tier. Band pushdowns. The only reason I did them was because I had some elbow issues. And for that, these are absolutely fantastic. They help my elbow recover a lot. They are great for preventing and treating tendonitis. But are they great for building big triceps? No. You're not going to be able to progressively overload properly. You're not going to be able to train in a relevant rep range. And it's just not convenient. Therefore, I have to put them into the wide tier. Although I do feel kind of bad. Cross body cable extensions. An exquisite movement. It's not bad for the elbows. It hits all the heads effectively. It provides you with a great contraction and stretch. I really can't think of a flaw. Although it's not my favorite tricep movement, I will still place it into the horse shoe tier. Floor press. Now, if you watched my previous tier list video, you will know that I, for some reason, end things on a bad note. This is no exception. First, if you're going to do this, do it for the chest. Although, you know what, scrap that. Just don't do this exercise in general, just don't. You're completely removing what I would consider the most important part of the movement, aka the stretch, the lengthened position. Your triceps and any other muscle for that matter is not getting that. Why tear? This was it. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? Let me know how you would have ranked these lifts in the comments below. Of course, this is all just my opinion. If I ranked a lift low that you enjoy, well, then still do that lift. The most important thing is that it makes you happy and it motivates you to go train. Thank you for watching.